I was able to, with my job, get some of this paid for. And that was another thing that I, I didn't want to ask because I felt like this was something that I was investing in because it was an interest that I had. Uh, but my boss, we had done mental huddles with Lindsay before. Um, and I was like, hey, there's this opportunity for me to become certified mindset coach and work on visualization and, um, and do all of this stuff. And um, I hadn't expected. I was like, maybe he'll, he'll chip in. Maybe, maybe we can come up with a price. And, um, and he just said, you know, we've got the money. Let's just, we're going to pay for it for you. And that's not something I ever would have felt comfortable asking about in the past. Um, I just brought it up because it was, I had to find a way to do it because I don't have the money sitting around to do this. Um, but I was like, let me exhaust all of my options on, on maybe, maybe the club team would chip in. Cause I also work with the club swim team. And that was my second, second tier option. Um, and then I was going to go to our athletic department. So I was determined to find a way to make this happen no matter what, uh, because I personally on my salary cannot, could not have afforded to do this. Um, I a hundred percent resonate with that. That was my biggest fear, the finances and the time. And, um, if it's really important to you, uh, you'll, you'll find a way to do both. I, I can guarantee that that would happen. Trisha, what about you? Were there any fears, income or, or, or not income investment or otherwise? going into it that you had to sort of overcome? Yeah, I remember talking to my husband and saying, um, I, I think when I first heard about it, I talked to him about it and, he, and we were both like, oh, we can't do it. And then as I started researching more and, and Lindsay's right, like if this is a desire of yours and you start researching other options, there's no way I could go to school right now and be a sports psychologist. The other options weren't a possibility. And I just saw it like an investment like if I were going to do some other type of business and it was the equipment that I needed to buy to get started, that's kind of what I viewed it as. And it, I remember like three weeks into it saying, this is worth every penny and more. Like it was, it was so every week it just got better and better. And the community that we got, I think I underestimated the value of the me too. Like, okay, that, that concept's hard for you. How, how are you wrestling with that? How are you doing that? Um, the, I, and, I, and I kept thinking, no, she's not going to give us all that. Like she gave us more and more and more. And it was, it was worth every penny, but I totally understand the scare of, of the money and, and I get it. But I think if you see it as investing in a business, um, it, it's worth it. 